Hello everybody. Today is the anniversary in 1916 of the most destructive day in British military history, the day, uh, the first day of the Battle of the Somme. On that one day there were 19,000 on the British side who got killed and another 40,000 who got injured. Uh, and then a, 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 a very large number, though not so large, uh, in the French and German armies. This was this was a, uh, and has become a, a reminder to us all of how terrible war can be, and generally speaking, how fruitless it is. Because that battle went on for another four and a half months without any uh, really outcome, really um, clear outcome to either side. War doesn't get us anywhere, and yet as we look around us at uh, not just Ukraine but plenty of other places in the world, we see uh, the way in which conflict is constant and the number, the, 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 the hundreds of thousands, probably millions of people uh, who week by week suffer the consequences of human violence and conflict. We could get depressed about this, but as I looked through the list of anniversaries today, as I do in order to prepare for these videos, there was a whole string that were much more hopeful, much more positive. Uh, today is the anniversary, for example, in 1881 of the first international telephone call from a small town in the States to one in Canada. Sorry, the other way around. And uh, it reminds us that we can now communicate instantly all over the globe. And, and, and the oneness of the globe, perhaps symbolised by the anniversary on this day in 1931, the first um, flight uh, round the globe by a single-engine monoplane by William Post and Harold Gatty. Uh, and then much more significantly, perhaps in 1968 on this day, the signing of the Non-Proliferation Treaty. Uh, the, uh, 48 countries uh, uh, alongside America and Russia and Britain, the only nuclear powers, uh, all agreeing that they would not uh, continue the search for nuclear um, weapons. Uh, and then in 1995, sorry, 1975, um, the uh, docking in space, and this I think for me is the biggest symbol of, uh, of possible unity across the world, the docking in space between the American uh, Apollo uh, satellite and the um, Russian Soyuz um, one, the, 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 the coming together of America and Russia in space. Uh, there are there are lots of signs of hope. Um, I've just picked out a few, and they're all in in the past. What we want is some now, some sign that our um, propensity to fight each other is somehow diminishing. Today's also another anniversary, the anniversary of the date in 1908 when SOS became an international distress signal. I think we have plenty of international distress at the moment and we need help. And for those of us who pray, uh, I think that's one thing we can do to pray for peace. But for all of us, uh, a longing for a more peaceful and harmonious world on this anniversary of that terrible day on the song would do us no harm.